Hello and welcome to Killer Frequency. If you want to find out more, maybe even play this for yourself, the links and the details will be down below in the description as usual, alright? It's going to be a first person horror experience where, as the name suggests, there's a serial killer on the loose. I'm going to be playing as a local radio DJ who works in that station there, and I'm going to be trying my very best to keep my loyal listeners alive and well. Probably to mixed results, because I'm in charge, but uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this. I've heard some great things about this game. This is Killer Frequency. I hope you enjoy it. Alright. Okay. We can move. That's a good start. So, this is the studio, is it? Okay. <laughs> what we got here? Picking up objects? Alright. So, object interaction. Yep, okay, so it's, it's physics-based interactions. I can drop. There you go. Looks like I can throw and place objects as well. Good stuff. Right. So, uh, is this my route to work? <laughs> Probably should get out of this alleyway, shouldn't I? Hmm. Right. That sounds a little bit ominous, doesn't it? Uh, oh, is this it? E to begin inspecting. Okay. Well, I can't inspect the door. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. Is it this? Ah, okay. Right. Good stuff. And then I can place it down. Lovely. Right. This way, then? Okay. Crouch. Okay. Oh, are we, are we taking the freight elevator? Apparently not. No. Okay. Good to know. Anything else? Opening doors. Okay. All right. Is this the place? Hey. Oh dear. Oh. I can't move. Hey. Whoa. Hello? Is that the killer? Why can't I move? Oh. Hi! That's an interesting mask you're wearing. <laughs> Alright! Welcome to Killer Frequency! Let's do this. Ah, this is more like it. You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Here we are. Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or... I don't know... Uh, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Mm. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. So there's a rat anyway, problem. you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously? Do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call him that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Uh, do I need a tutorial? Yeah, you know what, let's do the checks. Alright, fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Alright. Really? Come on, <laughs> let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Oh, God. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Right. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Okay. Easy. Easy. Okay, which one's it gonna be? This one by Blast Processor? Okay. It just goes there? Oh, I see. So you hold uh, right click. Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. All right, all right. It's the tutorial. I'm getting on with it. There you go. See? Right. Got it. All right. Great. Now turn it off. Well, I could press stop. There you go. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Phone line your buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Okay. Uh, oh, over here. Right. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. <laughs> Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. <laughs> Great, and button two works just the same. This so, one? All right. Let's move to the Peggy button. This you one? You mean the producer line? 
like I said, the Peggy button. <laughs> Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. <laughs> Now come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. This one? I labeled it for you. You did. And there it is. It's flashing. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. Oh boy. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. Oh, wow, look That's at the map. an easy one. Right. Sound blaster? Uh, okay. This? There we go. Ah, oh, I see. good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. Right, let's But crank it let's up. Let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. All right. Well, let's play this one again, shall we? Okay, so can't really hear it. All right. Now I can. It seems to be all working. All right. Are you done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Yeah, I should not encourage you. <laughs> I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Oh. I, oh okay, Now, I let's probably get need the show these. Started. After What, already? Introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. Right. I thought that was a joke. Nope. And don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. All right. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay. Like that, and then stop so it's nice and clean. Okay, you're live in three, two, one eighty nine. All right, sixteen. Here we go. So it seems like it's the midnight show. Perfect. Good evening, Gallows Creek. <laughs> This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to one eighty nine point sixteen, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show. I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Really? Here's how it works. I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. <laughs> We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did right. They stub their toe, saw off a finger, or <laughs> discover the corpse of a loved one. That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. <laughs> hey, what do you mean play the tape? Yeah, I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Right, is it one of these? Forrest, you do have the tape right. Oh dear. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. <laughs> no, I, I don't have the tape. Doesn't seem like it. it. May be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Really? We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so. Right. Oh, here we go. Okay, so, I hate what I've become. I used to go out all across <laughs> America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Right. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry oh. about that. I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close and then call in to guess that scream. <laughs> okay. Oh, here goes nothing. Uh, let's do falling from a cliff. <laughs> okay. Yep. Well, folks, there you have it. There you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. <laughs> Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guess. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Right. Okay. All right. Okay, some have uh, timed responses. Let's introduce the song. Time to go on the journey that is Last Processor with their hit song, 1980X. <laughs> All right. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. Thank you. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. Nor can I. 
How the hell did I get into this mess? Yeah. Lighten up, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. That's the real tragedy here. All right. So where else we got around here? Okay. Oh, oh maybe the tape Forrest, was back here. Call coming in. Oh, really? Time to turn the music off. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's turn it off. Let's see. Line one. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Oh. <laughs> Slow night. Uh, are you calling to guess that scream? Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. Yeah. What? No! Look, I found a body and I need your help. Right. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? First, I recognize her voice. Yeah? I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Hmm. Uh, well, yeah, you should probably call the sheriff then. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh, he's what? the body? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. Well, no wonder. It's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Wow. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Hmm, okay. Uh, anyone else at the station? Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No, I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. We have three. Oh boy. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Oh Leslie, dear. do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. Right. They need to send someone over from their department. Right. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. Mm. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose... Who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Lucky me. <laughs> oh god, this is a bad idea, but... Oof. Okay, let's feign confidence. You can count on me. You can count on me. Uh, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Forrest. You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. <laughs> You're the only person equipped for the job. Oh boy. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. Oh yeah? It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Right. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? <laughs> so I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. That's true. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Maybe make some killer shots. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. Go on. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. Right. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell. And the door itself only has a food tray slot. Hmm. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Right. Well, would there be another way into the cell? That would be very strange. Could you maybe break down the door or find another set of find another set of keys? There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Right. Of course. 
Yes, there must be another set. There we go. Where might another set be? Uh the officer's desk or well, maybe the sheriff. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he you know. Yeah. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. This is all so well voice acted. I'm just gonna turn you over and oh. please don't stare at me. I Oh wait. That might be them. Yeah? I I, th I think I got the cell keys. Alright. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? No. <laughs> they do! Oh, thank God. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. As will so we! Far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Um... I... <laughs> I'm quizzing KFAM. I think we can handle this. Yeah. That seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. Yeah. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Me too. Same. But I know it Come won't on, be. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. Okay. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Right, okay. Um, it It's the right thing to do. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. No problem. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You right. can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Ooh. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? Oh, there's that whistling no, again. No way. This can't... Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like... whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but... He's dead, right? He's dead? Right? But that mask... How the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man! The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? Wouldn't be surprised. He's coming this way. Oh, dear. Lock the doors. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. Right, okay. Run for it. Hide. Uh, hide. I think you need to stay put and hide in the station. You should be safe in there. The sheriff you wasn't. can't just stay in here. I need to go get help. I shouldn't have said that. And what if he gets in? What if he finds us? Very true. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Right. Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh... I'll just... Reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. All right. I saw that parked out front when I got here. And it wasn't nice on fire? Nice Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? How's your throwing arm? The whistling man is right there. Uh... Has the deputy got a gun? Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. Oh. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. Uh, the sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? Yeah. There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Oh, shit. It's empty. Oh, crap. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Hmm. Uh, can you see any other weapons? Or are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um... Uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Anything? All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. Right. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? 
Why can't you decide? Oh boy, okay. Well, to be honest, if he's wearing a mask, the pepper spray won't do a great deal. The taser or the baton, I'd say. So, let's maybe take the taser? I mean, it's gotta be the taser, right? Gotta be. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... Wait. Do you hear that? N no? No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No ah. more knocking. Uh, be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay. Deputy Martinez. Good luck. If you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Right. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Right. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Okay. Well, good luck. Good luck, Leslie. Wow. That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. Yeah. You know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. <laughs> well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. I guess so. All right. So, now what? Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. Oh, really? I'm putting the call through. That soon? Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Okay. We're here. We're here. Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. <laughs> but yes, we made it to the car. Good stuff. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. Good. So I'm going to get us moving. All right. Jesus. Oh. God damn it. Get, get back. Get away from her. Oh, dear. Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Yeah! Take that! Oh, the taser! Did it work? Drive! Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Yeah! Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser... Definitely the right call. Yes. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Nor can I. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Right. Uh, I guess we'll do our best. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. <laughs> you think anyway, so? Once I'm in, oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Good. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. All right. Uh, take care. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. <laughs> Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. All right. Good stuff. I gotta say, I'm into this. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. All right. Please make sure to stay safe. Wait, that's the show. Leslie, office? we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind, or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Right. Uh, let's try this one. Okay. It's David Scopo with... Moonlight. <laughs> so professional. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. No. This is actually insane. Did you see how Did close we are? Say it's going to take her four hours. This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know. I know. I just. <sighs> who is this whistling man character anyway? Yeah. Who he is was this a guy? Serial killer back in the fifties, Edward Marshall Mooney. 
Right. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Wow. No reason for it. No motive. He just did. Oh, so close. So, yeah, what happened to him? Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Alice Point one night. Right. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well... I think I saw that. It was on this night, actually. Yeah. Police cornered him. He jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time. Waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Hmm. Well, uh, ever the optimist. All right. Copycat or ghost killer, I I guess we'll do our best. Right. That's the spirit! It uh, is. At least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. Probably not. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 <laughs> people <laughs> at best. 35 at best. Are you serious? 35 at best? 35, yeah. It's a school night. Wow. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and <laughs> I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. <laughs> Around five for most shows on the low end? Five? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million. Million? Yes. Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Yeah. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I guess we're going to learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Guess we are. Oh, we have a call coming in. Oh. We'll take it when you're ready. Oh, okay, there's more to do. Right, okay. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, right. Okay, line one again. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Oh, dear. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? <laughs> okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Unconvincing whistling. All right. You know my name. Okay. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Uh. Do you accept requests? Yes. Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. <laughs> uh, maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. Us? A sacrifice? To us? I, I mean, me! <laughs> Ooh, that sounds I mean, good. I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. <laughs> Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Uh, no, no, not yet. Not yet. I want to deal with them. <laughs> Imagine if this was the actual killer. You little shits. It's, okay. All right, I'll do it. <sighs> okay, so cheese dusted pretzels in a mega gulp behind the gas station. Right. You got it, whistling man. Uh, a wise choice. See you soon, Boris Nash. Do they think I'm serious? Needless <laughs> to say, I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids. Right. And none of you should be going out tonight either. <laughs> We've got an actual killer out there. 
Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Okay, it's the flow. Oh, yeah. Now it's time to go with the flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. <laughs> I love the record like, names. What the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? Yeah. It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. It seemed real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We do. We already have another caller on the line. Oh, really? Right. Let's do this. Okay. Right, let's see. Line one again. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. I'm the next okay, best thing. Right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. <laughs> what's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp and I need the cops now. Okay. The cops aren't coming. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. They're a bit busy. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the Whistling Man is after me. Right. Knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Yes, it is. <laughs> a jazz run? Uh, okay, where are you now? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. Oh, yeah? I dropped my key somewhere along the way. Ah. I never locked the door because I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Right. Um, is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. Right, I right. There he is. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. Look, I don't know a thing about cars, but I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Wait, 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 I don't. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. Wh I'll call you back when I find it. I, I, okay. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Apparently. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Right, okay, let's just play the rest of this. Nah, don't introduce it. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline twins talk motors. Yeah. <laughs> Close. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. <laughs> anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Yeah? Okay, well, I guess we're just going to leave this playing, right? All right, so here we are. Let's explore the rest of the station. Cool. Honestly, my first impressions are fantastic. This is brilliant. It's it's so well put together, so polished. Really, really good stuff. Okay, so right, well this will be where Peggy is. <laughs> right, okay. That makes sense. Uh back here? I'm not getting in there tonight. Hmm. Okay. So let's see, around here somewhere? Ah, here we go. We got the toilets. So, let's see. <laughs> Shouldn't really be doing this. But, uh... Alright. No killers hiding in there? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. So many locked doors, so few keys. Ah, okay. So do I need to find a key? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Right. Is this what she was talking about? Alright. I wonder if this actually works. It seems like there's so many things to interact with in this game. I'm really quite impressed. Yeah, I'm going to place that there. Maybe you can copy that. 
Hmm. Alright, so let's see. Oh. GC High wins the big game, 28-20. Good for them. Okay. Hmm. It's not really going to help, is it? There's a lot of sort of like lorem ipsum. A lot of nonsense. Okay. We can all agree that the flavour profiles of Chalupa Cabra are the best in town. Despite being a pricey option and offering no deals, the El Diablo Burrito has the best mouthfeel and those Huevo Rancheros are just excellent. Brilliant. <laughs> People won't get its egg in excellent, idiot. Right, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of just like good flavour to this, you know? Man, I don't even know if I'm in the right spot. Got a magazine here, Scare, The Creepy Hour. Don't think I need to read that, do I? Hmm. Something here? No. Uh, around here. Christine's mechanic on duty. Okay, this is this is seeming promising. Now this has to be important. Oh? I've borrowed your car theft magazine? Oh, the Huevos Rancheros aren't sitting right. Get right. Right, 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 right. Hold on, hold on. Put that down there. The toilet? Maybe I was actually right having a look at the toilet. Let's see. Okay. Right, well, there's nothing down there. No. Okay. There's a copy of the newspaper. I don't think that's what we're looking for, though. Okay. Hang on. Hold on, hold on. What's this? This looks useful. Oh, is that it? Fix all cars! Okay, we got a little sort of musical jingle there, so I, I think that's it. Okay. Alright, that, that's a little bit better. A keyless entry technique. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Um, so, I, I think this is what I need, right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this with me. That bloody door will not close, will it? <laughs> not properly. Right. Place items in the tray. Oh, that's what it's used for. Fantastic. Right. Okay, hang on, Peggy. You find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Yeah. Well, that sounds perfect. When you're ready, shut the music off. Yeah, we're done with it. Sorry, listeners. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. All right. Perfect timing. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? Oh, the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. Oh, boy. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. Right. How do we start this, baby? Uh, okay, so... Yeah. Uh, put a screwdriver in the ignition, twist clockwise. Put the screwdriver in the ignition. And twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I. I. Oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? Right. How about step two then? Remove the steering column. Co yeah. There we go. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, <laughs> two. Too long. Okay. Oh, covers off. Look, there's a bunch of wires down here, all paired up. And right. Oh, oh god, my heart is pumping. Mine too. Oh, what we got? Uh, you're doing great. You're doing great. But you're, right, tell me exactly what you see. Tell me exactly what you see. Oh boy, this okay. is going to get complicated. We can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and oh, a brown wire. Right. Okay, um, I think it's important that we check the serial number first, right? So yeah. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Fight. Oh Christ, I, I should have I should have wrote that down. Oh, okay. No, the game does it for me. Okay, so uh, all right. So let's see. There you go. I can actually see the number and look at the magazine at the same time. So. If there's a four before a three, and number seven in the number... Is there a four? 
There is. Okay, so that, it might be that, that top one, red and blue. If there's a six anywhere and doesn't start with a five... Oh, it does start with a five. Uh, if there's a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six... There is a zero at the end, three doesn't come before a six. Uh, yeah, okay, it could be the could be the first one or it could be the third one, I think. Um, right, so our options... It's red and blue. It, it, it's like it's it's in the book. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one and hope for the best. Good luck. Strip the blue and red wires and twist them together. Right. Okay, here we go. Did I read that right? Oh, God. Twist and turn and... Oh! Pink wires? Th oh, hang on, hang on. The le right. Oh, you can hear the whistling in the background. Right. Oh, in the bottom right. If, you, if the radio turns on, it won't turn off. Uh, cut the left pink wire. Right, left, left, left. Cut the left wire. Oh. oh. <laughs> With high intensity. I... Oh, no. Oh, no. He's walking toward the car. Oh, shit. Oh, what do I do? Maybe that wasn't it, then. May Okay, it's it's it, it's the red and yellow. It's got to be red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow, and we twist, and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Okay, all right. So, yeah, strip the purple wire, brush it against the twisted wires, yeah? Yeah. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. yes. Okay. Fantastic work, baby. Thank you. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just keep driving. You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. <laughs> All right. I think that's two people we've saved now. We did it, Forrest. We did. We sure did. Yes. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. <laughs> the late and remember, night if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. <laughs> All right, will do. Here we go. Let's introduce it as well, if possible. Yes. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. All right, are we done I with this then? I can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. <laughs> what do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Let's place this down here. Yeah, there we go. Right. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, no, nothing personal. It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or, hell, it's not really anywhere. Hmm. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... <laughs> uh... Stab happy? <laughs> the awful forest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Um... Yeah, some folks have been okay. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. After a while. Not terrible after a while? My praise coming from Forrest Nash. <laughs> you know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for... I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. Yeah. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Let's hope so. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. <laughs> we don't want that on our plate as well. Okay, we've made it to 12.42, but to be honest, I think the show is only really just beginning. This is where I'm going to say thank you very much for watching part one of Killer Frequency. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. I hope to see you back for part two, where I'm sure there's going to be many more calls and maybe many more lives saved. I guess we'll see. So far, so good, right? So far, so good. Got to think positive. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubularants. Oh, God. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Oh. <laughs> Slow night? Now, I'll be back as soon as I can. Ooh. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. What should I take? Why can't you decide? That taser? Definitely the right call. Yes. Is everything, uh, all right? <sighs> oh, dear. Just turn. Just turn. <laughs> oh, no. He's walking toward the car. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. 